In this video, I want to show you these really awesome sausage stuffed zucchini boats. This is a really easy recipe where we're going to make a sausage and tomato sauce. We're going to stuff the zucchini boats with it. We're going to cover it with cheese. We're going to send them in the oven and they're going to come out super delicious. So whether you are or not a vegetable fan, you're going to love it because it's going to take just like pizza. For the full ingredient list, check the description box below. But enough talking, let's get cooking. Zucchinis are such a wonderful vegetable to work with, and right now it's end of summer, beginning of fall, so they are everywhere. The first step to getting this recipe going is to slice these in half, and you gotta make sure that you find a spot where the zucchini's not rolling around, and then you just pull a nice sharp knife right through. So now we gotta make space for that amazing sausage stuffing, so we're gonna scoop out the zucchinis. And just a regular spoon will do. So you just gotta drag it through the middle and make sure that you leave room on the outsides. So the top and the bottom still have some zucchini there so it can really hold the stuffing. I've got my standard set up here, a baking tray lined with aluminum foil and parchment paper. We're gonna arrange the zucchini on there. We're gonna set them aside. Now we're gonna prep our vegetables for the sauce. There's not much to prep here. We just gotta put a small dice on this onion and as I do stuff, I always like to make sure to remind people like what cooking is and cooking really is a lot of organization. So getting yourself little containers like this and putting prep stuff in them saves so much time when you bring it over by the stove. And this wouldn't be a Chef Ange recipe if it wasn't for this little pile of garlic. You know that we love our garlic around here. And we're also gonna chop up our parsley that we're gonna put inside the sauce. It's gonna add a nice pop of color and we might as well do this while the knife and the cutting board are dirty. So in this frying pan, we're gonna heat this over at medium heat. We're gonna put a little olive oil and now we're gonna put our ground sausage in there. And I'm gonna chop this up and this is a good technique if you don't have one of those choppers, you just use one spoon to hold and another spoon to chop. Once that's in a nice crumbly consistency, we're gonna let this brown on all sides and then we're gonna use a slotted spoon to remove the sausage and put that in a bowl right next to the pan because it's gonna go right back in after. And if that's not working, you just dump it all out. So now a little bit of oil back in there and into the dirty pan goes the onions. And that's gonna help reclaim some of the flavor from that brown sausage. And we're gonna move these onions around lightly so they start to give off moisture, they clean up the bottom of the pan, and they also take on color and flavor. Now, when they've softened up a little bit, we're gonna add our garlic and we're gonna cook for far less time, but I love the smell of onions and garlic. This is when you know that something delicious is gonna happen very soon. So now we're gonna put in a little tomato paste and we're gonna mix in the tomato paste into the softened onions and garlic and make this like paste with tomatoes and the onions and garlic. We're gonna soften this up and add some acidity with a little white wine vinegar which is probably the most neutral of all the vinegars that we can add. And now we're gonna go with a full can juice and all of petite diced tomatoes. Now we're gonna mix all this goodnesses all together. And now we're gonna season with some fresh ground black pepper, a pinch of salt, a little sprinkle of some Italian seasoning. If you don't have Italian seasoning, you could any dried green herb mix, like Herb de Provence or something like that. And now some crushed red pepper for a little bit of heat. Now we're gonna give this a little bit of a mix and that sausage is going right back in, drippings and all. So if there's anything collected in the plate, make sure that you get those drops in. And now we're gonna give this a nice mix and complete this sauce with just a sprinkle of parsley. And this is gonna add a really nice contrast to color. Now look how delicious this sauce looks. You don't even have to make the zucchini. You could probably just take this and throw this right in a bowl, maybe a little on top of a little rice or something or some pasta. This would be fantastic, but this is definitely gonna go inside those zucchinis and let's start preparing those. So those have already been split and we're gonna spray them with a little olive oil and a nice sprinkle of salt. And these are gonna go in the oven for about 10 minutes just to soften up a little bit before we stuff them. This will be the perfect time to shred our mozzarella cheese. For melty cheese stuff, I really don't like to use the pre-shredded stuff. There's only a couple applications for that. So here we're going to take out the tower shredder and we're going to shred some mozzarella cheese right on the paper towel. And then we're going to use the paper towel to transfer right into the container. It This makes shredding cheese so easy to transfer and look how nice that is. I only dropped a little bit. I find this technique to be so useful. Let me know in the comment section if you cheese heads out there have any cheese shredding tips that I don't know about. These have been cooked just a little bit. They're nice and warm, and now we're gonna stuff them. 
be sure to take your time stuffing the zucchini. This is one of the things that's going to just require a little bit of finesse. You can just slop it on top, but let's use a little bit of precision here. And we're just going to take just a regular spoon and spoon the sausage inside. And we're trying to get as much in there as possible without it overflowing over the outsides. And once those are all stuffed, we're gonna sprinkle some Pecorino Romano cheese. You can use some shredded Parmesan or any of those cheeses like that. I just love the Pecorino with this whole pizza style flavor. And now we're gonna take that shredded mozzarella cheese and we're also gonna be really neat and precise and just pile it on top. We know this cheese is gonna melt all over the place. So if at least it starts on top of the zucchini, it'll just melt pretty much on top of it. We're also gonna give this another little light spray with some olive oil just to make sure that if there's any browning that that cheese is gonna brown up really nicely. And now another light sprinkle of that same Italian seasoning that went inside the sauce. So this is gonna go in the oven for anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes. And once that cheese is melted, bubbly and golden brown and looks exactly like this, we are home. We'll let these cool down for a few minutes before we transfer them over to the serving platter. This will be the perfect time to chiffonade a little basil for the top. I love basil so much. And now we're gonna sprinkle this basil right over the top and complete this dish. Once they're cool enough that you can handle them and not burn your fingers or the cheese sliding off, we're gonna transfer them very carefully with a really thin spatula to try to get underneath and be really careful because this cheese is still super hot and super melty. Now I just want to thank you for coming on the zucchini boat journey with me, but this journey has come to an end and these boats are going home and they're hitting the dinner table. Make this one time and I promise you, you're gonna make it again because everyone's gonna be asking for it. So these look absolutely super delicious. I can't wait to try one, but before I do, I wanna show you one little thing. So I love these little chef snacks. So when we're doing like melty cheese stuff and it falls onto the baking sheet and then gets all brown and crispy, don't miss out on this. These are these, are these little chef snacks that they might not hit the table, but they're super duper delicious. And like this nice brown crispy cheese, mm, so good. Mm. If they made these as a snack and just put it in a bag, it would be so good. Just melty, delicious, crispy cheese. Ooh. No flavors left behind. So what's really nice about this is everything all in one. You know, if you struggle to eat your vegetables, you cover it with delicious sauce, sausage and cheese. How bad could it be? Oh, falling apart. Mm. This is so good. So maybe you're going like low carb keto people out there. This is super duper delicious. Mm. A nice big bite right here. Now first one, a little wimpy. Melty cheese, a sauce, the zucchini, holding it very beautifully. Mmm. That is so good. I could eat this as a meal all by itself. This doesn't even have to be a side. Mmm. Let's get one more bite. Wow. Mm. It's got a little kick from that, that red pepper. Sausage is always adds flavor to everything. Mm. This is just so good. Mm. So while I'm finishing the rest of this, you should check out my stuffed pepper recipe if you're into a stuffed vegetables with deliciousness. And uh, if you wanna see another vegetable recipe, check out my uh, vegetable playlist. I'm sure you'll find something there that you'll like. Thanks, see you there.